Hello Minecrafters and welcome to episode 30 of our Let's Play Infinity Evolved. Well, I say 30. Technically, this should be 31. But 31 messed up really, really bad. Um, it, it basically took the opening scene and sat there for 30 minutes while I did everything else. You see, I'm, I've been setting up for uh, doing some Twitch streaming and things like that. Well, I've got it set up so that I can now game on one computer, stream on a second computer. It required an HDMI splitter, the way I've got it set up. Well, one of the drivers wasn't quite right. So I was watching me play. Uh, and there were, I think, three or four people that had actually got a chance to see the video. One person made a comment that um, they heard me talking, but I wasn't moving. So, you missed a few things. Uh, I actually made a jetpack. And as you can see in front of me, I've also been to the twilight. The twilight forest. Why is there a chicken over here? He needs to be decapitated. That works. So, uh, we did, I, I did that, and I went, and I killed the Nago. And got a trophy from him. And, uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, all of that is gone and there's really nothing I can do because it recorded my audio but not my video so there you go so this episode I think we're gonna head back to the Twilight Forest and maybe do a little bit of fighting and stuff like that I don't know I'm not real well versed in Twilight Forest. Now, I did get lucky, and this is this is where I came in at. So I came over here and killed the Naga, which is basically a a large snake thing. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I don't think he'll respawn. So I don't think we'll get a chance to kill him again. No, nope, doesn't look like it. So, then next, I went this way. And I'm hoping that by putting... Well, that's interesting. I guess he was underground. I am hoping that by putting down the trophy and picking it back up that I can get over here because Twilight Forest requires or at least the way it's set up here requires you to do specific things in order so you have to take out certain bosses in a certain order and it looks like that by putting it down I made it through because last time when I came over here I had picked it up but I hadn't touched it I hadn't put it down anything like that and it wouldn't let me anywhere near this over here. So hopefully we got that straightened out because I want to go up there and kill the Lich King. And I might want to look at upgrading my jetpack because, wow, that sucker really goes down fast. Um, yeah. So, all right, we got our spiders. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can't go in from this way, maybe. Hey, there's a chest. All kinds of nifty things that I'm not really that worried about. But you know what? I can grab them and send them home. And that, and that, and that. 
Don't need that. Don't need that or that. Swiftness, swiftness. Mm. Might need those. Uh, and there's the Naga scales I got from killing the Naga. And they said you had to touch those. I read up on it later and they said you had to touch these. But apparently by setting the trophy down and picking it back up, it's now letting me letting me in over here. So let's go back out and we'll just be the rude neighbors that we are and break in through the roof. Man, I have flat out used up my jetpack. Let's see, that one in the middle. Anyways, last time whenever I tried to do this, it wouldn't let me break any blocks. So we have definitely made progress. Oh, they know I'm here. And I'm, let's see, I do know that when he shoots at you, you have to rebound those little things back at him. I do know that. And now I'm standing on his chandelier. And we'll just kind of, we'll start off. And we'll start off with the cleaver. Because what I've got to do is I've got to wait for him to shoot at me. And then I've got to knock those little things back at him in order to take down. Now, I guess I can't hit that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm already half damage. Let's get back up here. All right, come on. Shoot at me. All right. So that, all right, so now you can see he's been taken down a little bit. My goodness. Let's get down here and hopefully regenerate a little bit. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought some healing potions. Do, 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 do. I can eat again. Yeah, I'm, I usually don't rely a whole lot on potions, but maybe I should have. This may be a little bit slow. Poor Junior having to wait for me to die. I hope he's still up there. Because he does tend to teleport around a bit. Oh, good. He waited. Come on. Now, shoot. And back at you. All right. He is down to one shield. So we put that one back at him. And he's going to throw some bad guys at us. And we're going to get in here and beat him up. And he's dead. Ta-da! Oh yeah. Two hearts left. Where's all my loot? Oh! Yeah, it's right there. I can't pick it up. Um, alright. Well, let's throw some stuff in here. I don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. I do need that. Uh, what else? I've got to get rid of stuff. Well, I can definitely get rid of that. Got plenty of them. Uh, I don't need that. I'm trying to throw stuff in there that will actually go away. I can go ahead and put those in there. Alright, and we have 
the scepter of life draining Ta -da. and we should have another trophy that's cool Dun -dun -dun. all right now it's time to go kill some stuff that is annoying me because that sound is about to drive me nuts with the spiders so we'll switch to our handy dandy crossbow and kind of strafe our way down I guess that spider's on the outside that's a dead book oh no there's a spider and we'll switch off to the pick and knock that down oh All right, so all the books are dead. <laughs> That's really weird having to kill books. All right, let's get you out of here. Do, do, do. Oh, hello. Yes, I know you're over here. Except that now you're not. All right, moving on along, singing a song. Oh, wrong number. Oh, come on, stop hiding. Apparently there is. I'll tell you what, man. They really blend in with the background. Back to my trusty number three. Hit this. Cross. Oh, wow. All right. They have flat out dumped those out. And I do mean quick. All right. Yeah, I don't have to worry about a whole lot about the skeletons because they don't really seem to do that much damage. Leastwise, not with the dark steel armor on. All right, so let's take out some spiders. Switch to three, break this. Run for your life! Okay, at least until I can... It's a tactical retreat! Yeah, that's it. Oh, hello. There you go. Trying to hide there behind the banister. All right. Um. Wow, I can hear a bunch of them. Hello. Ah, there it is. I'll tell you what. Evidently, they got this set up to where as soon as you break it, it drops a load of them. That's interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. I did not know that was a thing. Okay. Uh... an interesting room okay how's my story oh good grief um try and get rid of stuff that stacks or stuff that i have storage for ah i know these will go because they're under io and i have a spot for those uh that won't but it will stack okay Got to keep my inventory cleared up enough so that I can pick up things. 
because, well, you know, I gotta loot all the things. Alright, so it sounds like the spiders are over here. Yeah, I guess you could say that. There is definitely a spawner up in there. Oh, I'm hung up. Are they all dead? Yay! Okay. Got that. Oh, the silence. So much better. That's just weird. Alright, so I've cleared that one. That's kind of cool looking. Uh, it looks like I'm full again. I guess that's made to look like chains hanging down or something. Cool. Lapis lazuli block. Don't really need any of that, I don't think. Not in the grand scheme of things, anyways. Okay, well, I'm not full right now, so... Get rid of a few more things... Sure seem to get dark. Alright, I've been in then that one, then that one. What's this? To another little room. Oh well, now, isn't that neat? Use for crafting only. Ooh, instant health. Yeah, why couldn't I have found that earlier? You know, a smart man would probably look at these chests a little bit better. Okay, that one's not trapped. Moonworm Queen. Uh, no idea. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, what we got? Anything else? No more looties? Oh, man. Stone slat. Why is that different? Huh. All right. Well, I believe that's it for this little tower. And, wow, I'm already down to 60%. Oh, and the Tree of Despair. <laughs> like I said, I couldn't figure out how to get in there last time when, you know, my video messed up. And so I had named this the Tree of Despair because I was hoping somebody could tell me what I'd done wrong. But then I figured out that it had not registered my kill on the Naga so once, apparently once I put the trophy down and picked it back up, it gave me the, uh, the win. So got that figured out and we have now taken him out. Now my question is, what's next? Hmm. There is something I want to do and I don't think I've got the stuff with me. Because one of the things that I did when I first came in was I killed a whole bunch of the crows. Oh, shoot. That ain't going to go nowhere. Dun, 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 dun. Is any of this? Evidently, I'm going to have to go back. Something is out and about. I hear it snarling. I wonder if it's down below me. There's something over here, too. Oh, bird. <laughs> that sucker moves around an awfully lot. 
Okay, there's apparently some stuff under me. Whoa, hello. I do apologize for hitting focus mode sometimes. Oh, hello. Um, but yeah, I, I do tend to do that. Especially whenever there's stuff around that's trying to kill me and, and all, so... Yeah, you just stand there and let me kill you. Well, this is going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. Wow, you got fast there for a minute. I know that there are these um, mounds that are hollow. I don't know if that's what this is or if it's just like a little cave system inside in the ground or what, but Oh, I saw some light over here. I thought it might have been a spawner, but apparently not. And I tell you what, this Signalium bow, dude, this thing just, I don't want to say it's overpowered, but to be honest, I have to. Because, well, it is. Okay, apparently there's nothing over this way. I'm dragging all this stuff along behind me because I'm wearing the Ring of Magnetization from Batania. Makes for a happy thing. I don't have to worry about picking up as much stuff. Alright, so which direction should I go? And I guess if this is as bad as this gets, there's really not that much to it. Which, in all honesty, I am fairly well equipped for, you know, low-level stuff. Alright, uh, I guess let's get out of here. I wonder, can I shoot this thing fully submerged? Why, yes, I can. Sweet. That's always a happy thing. Pick up my arrow. How am I doing on arrows? Uh, where? Oh, okay. There they are. I could not find them. I even looked on my hotbar in case I had lost them there. Because I tend to do that. All right. Well, I don't really think there's a whole lot more in here. All right, don't be running. You're just going to die tired. They make kind of a sad little sound when you kill them. You'd think with this bow it would be an instant death. Daylight! Well, okay, not really. Twilight! forest. Yeah, these are the feathers I was talking about. Alright, let's see. Is there anything I can send back? Nope. Not really. Um, there's a few things I can get rid of, though. Don't need dirt. Don't need rotten flesh or zombie. Actually, I could have kept that. Notes on a pointy tower by a Forgotten Explorer. Well, that ought to be interesting. Uh, keep instant health. Potion, potion, potion. Hmm. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. 
definitely want to keep that. Okay, I have an empty slot. <laughs> it's been a while since I saw one of those. Uh, oh wow, jetpack down to 28%. I thought this was going to be a thing. All right, is this back the way I came? Where am I? All right. Um. Okay, my exit's over there. That's the way I need to go. And I need to watch. Need to watch that percentage up there. Which, I mean, I am leaving, so it ain't that big a deal. I kill you. I kill you. Give me your feathers. And you. Because I'm wanting to make a map focus. And I see this here, Dark Forest. I think that's what that is. I'm just going to hoof it over here on foot to see what it does, or what biome this is. Yeah, oh, well, Oak Savanna. Oh, hello. Um, Yeah, that's dark, all right. My goodness. It's like it envelops you. Blindness. Okay, apparently I have not done the things that I need to do to go in there yet. So let's go back to the house. Post haste. And uh, clean up our inventory and see what we can do. And actually I'm about out of time. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode here. Um, actually, a couple of minutes early. I do apologize for the uneventful episode thingies. Um, I pulled, what is today? Today's Tuesday. So this is posting Wednesday. I pulled last Friday's episode due to malfunction and it took me a while to figure out the driver issue and, and all that stuff so I am really hoping that you get to see all this and it's not going to be another messed up episode but I think I got everything straightened out and anyways I hope it all works out I need my armor. I like having the jetpack, but I really like having my armor on. It makes me feel better. Stand right there. Ugh, gotcha. Gotcha again. <laughs> All right, anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in next episode when we'll be doing a little bit more in Twilight Forest. I think I'm going to see if I don't have everything. I'm pretty sure I got everything I need to put together a map focus and a map. And then we can use that to figure out where we need to be going and what we need to be doing. But next episode, I'm guessing we'll be back in the Twilight Forest. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you come back to see us real soon. Also, don't forget to check me out, or check me out. Hmm. How should I say that? Go over to twitch.tv. Look for Jim Slate, because uh, I'm actually starting up some streaming over there. I've been, I created another world for Infinity Evolved on my private server where my family plays. And so we're probably going to be playing on there some. And we're also looking at starting up a um, regrowth. Yeah, regrowth with me, my two boys. I don't know if my wife and my daughter is going to get in on it yet, but we'll see. But anyways, like I said, getting ready to get that started too. So check it out over there. 
follow me on Twitter if you want a notification when I'm going live over there. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Come back to see us soon, and until then, take care and God bless.